Morning guys, how we doing? Uh, this morning, oh welcome back to the channel. This morning, I'm going to have a go at uh, doing a bit of filming and I'll get my bird shots and uh, hopefully the light will improve and with a bit of luck we'll get some good pictures. So this morning I'm after just the common stuff, nut hatches, great tits, blue tits, robins, there's plenty of them about as you can probably hear. So we're just going to do a little quick video on the way I go about setting up for these shots. And uh, hopefully you'll pick up a few tips if you didn't already know them. So, see you later. I always bait, bait, bait a few of these posts up on the way up and that way uh, it brings the birds in for people that come in behind me Not everybody thinks about baiting up but it's a good way of getting the birds to come within shooting range at camera So there's a few posts along here and I drop a few on Oh there we are, we've got our first customer Now that took about two minutes if that Oh, Mr. Robin. No. Oh, your mate will be back. Come and get it now before the nut hatch gets it. No. Oh, well, I'll see you on the way back. So there you go. Surprisingly quiet in here this morning. I thought with it being Saturday it would be a bit busy but obviously them that are working like a little lie in. The place is pretty much empty. Not a soul, which is great for making videos and for photography. So hopefully we'll, we'll see a few things. This little brook here, this uh, Barsdown Brook uh, last, On my last visit I've seen two kingfishers Or well, the same kingfisher twice but Anyway, I, I think that will be a video for another day but Who knows, might get lucky today Anyway, we'll see A bit more food, food for the birdies. I'm sure they'll be on it as soon as I walk away. Just putting a bit out on here. This is another one of the favourite places for baiting up uh, as you can see we've got incoming already not hatches blue tips Great tips. Another nut hatch. This is a really good place for bird photography and bird spotting. I think pretty much everybody in the area feeds these birds when they walk through, which is great because it 
increases the populations, gets the birds friendly and less shy and it just adds to everybody's feeling of well-being people should do it in every bloody woods all over the country I don't know how they do I mean how much is a bag of, bag of bird food? 129 at home base home bargains you can come in every day for a week with that probably more you only bring handful in look at this awesome ok guys this is uh, the stump that I was using on my last set of photo photos um, it's in a great position it's relatively open in the canopy as you can see so if the light's going to be good anywhere it's going to be better here than a lot of places in this woods because it's very very um, overgrown and grown up not a lot of light gets through probably in the summer it's very a lot darker um, it's on the edge of a the brook which is great because this is the exact area where I saw the Kinga the other day he just flew straight down here like a little blue dot round the bend and round the next bend um, the reason this stump uh, gets a lot of my attention is five paces away which is I don't know not five meters probably four meters away there's a nice tree to sit on and that's as close really as you can get you can get a little bit closer and get shots but to put them at the ease that's the sort of distance so um, I'll unpack my gear and uh, we'll get going so kit today is simple stuff really just the camera Nikon D3300 with a 70 to 300 Sigma lens I think it is and a monopod just to just to give me a little bit of steadiness you don't need them I've took a Mandel there and they've been almost as good that's about all you need really and a bit of patience and a bag of bird food so I'll bait the stump up so what you want to do when you're baiting up ideally is, is hide the food a little bit make them work for it so that they're there longer don't just scatter it on the top like I have done on the, on the way up that was just to bring them in for people passing if you hide it in, it looks a lot more natural and uh, oh they're already here great tits just come, just seeing me sat in the tree waiting for me to go off ooh nearly landed then I'll just put a little bit more on, I'm not even going to get my camera set up but I'm filming this with the old uh, bridge camera Panasonic Lumix FZ45 which is a great little camera in its own light in fact I've took a lot better photos with this than I have with the Nikon with the expensive one so I'll just bait it up but hide it so they have to work for it and you'll get more chance of getting a shot because when they come they're in and out like lightning anyway that's ok guys this is my view from uh, the other side of the camera um, when you first do this you'll find it really difficult to keep up with the birds coming in and uh, so for that make sure you zoom out and get the whole log in it's alright getting really good close-ups when you know where they're coming to but initially start off wide and then go in a bit more zoomed like that because when you're like that you don't see them coming in so keep it quite an open shot, you can always crop in afterwards anyway let's get the big camera out and uh, let's get set up one thing I forgot to mention is you want your camera on automatic focus don't try manually focusing on these birds because they're in and out like a bolt of lightning they really are that quick you'll have trouble keeping up with them 
so manual uh, focus is out of the question really we're getting something sitting still like a robin they'll sit there and sing yeah that's fine but not these little tits they're in and out nut hatches straight in straight out cold tits they barely touch the ground so you only have literally microseconds to focus so leave it to your auto focus that's what it's for like this nut hatch course just to prove me wrong he's hanging about now but that was a long stay for a nut hatch so make sure you've got that autofocus on I'll just leave it on full auto if you're not sure be a beginner to it So there you go guys, that's it for this morning I think, uh, they're probably still coming in behind me there, but um, hopefully I'll have got a few good shots, I'll have a look at them when I get home and I'll post them at the end of the video. Hope you've enjoyed it, if you have, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you want. I'll speak to you later, see you out there, bye for now.